I believe if LeBron James and Anthony Davis are healthy, the Lakers could go to the playoffs with those two guys. My reservations are extremely deep about Russell Westbrook in this system. Stephen A. Smith went on first take and bashed Russell Westbrook some more. When new Lakers head coach Darvin Ham was introduced, this was Smith's takeaway. Him being at that press conference yesterday, actually to me, I didn't like it. Thus, ex-NBA vet J.J. Redick and current New Orleans Pelican C.J. McCollum responded. So you, you said a, a, a random, random take. And then you explained a bunch of things about Russell Westbrook that had nothing to do with that take. And so I want clarification on this. Sure. What is your issue with Russell Westbrook being at that news conference? That's a wild thing. Not, that, That's a wild thing that for well you to all, say. Stephen Him supporting his team, his organization, yeah. his coach, a fellow African American man well, that gets hired by the Los don't Angeles go there. Lakers. Don't, don't go there. That's and not now what, that's not you're what saying. Going, this is what you said. See, but no, no. But see, you, you cross, said that you're crossing he crossing the line when you bring up oh another African American man. That's not where I'm going. With you that. said I'm that about the Lakers organization discussing trading him. What does that got to do with him? Well, what I'm saying, no, what are you talking about with that guy? You said him? him going to the press conference, you're disappointed. I'm saying, I'm, no, I'm saying. Don't, that, run the I'm, tape, we got the tape. What was that thing Draymond said after the Mad Dog fiasco? When I say sincerely yours, the new media, what I mean by that is the landscape of media is about to change. You will no longer be allowed to sit there and say what you want. You will no longer be allowed to put out these false narratives. You will no longer be able to allow to not know what you're talking about and we're going to listen to you. Those days are long gone. You know why? Because we have guys like J.J. Reddick who's done it, who speaks it, who knows how to, to speak on any different topic, who's not afraid to shut an idiot up. When I say sincerely yours, the new media, the, you will be held accountable. And you will have to know what you're talking about in order to speak on eSports. You will have to know what you're talking about in, able, in, in order to, to speak on this game of basketball. You know why? Because we're doing it now. This is what we are seeing in real time, and it's a breath of fresh air. Because you see the lambastic, outlandish, unabashed world of sports media where it's simply who can outtake the other take in the world of takes this conglomerate of a BS riddled factory of outrage at all times is finally answering for it. Stephen, the please, Lakers please organization has been talking about moving Russell Westbrook. They're talking about trading him. My point is, is that this guy, there are question marks as to whether or not he's going to be a part of the team. That's all but I meant right by now saying. now he's on the team. I understand that. And that's his that. new coach. <laughs> exactly. And let's just play devil's advocate here. Let's say Russell Westbrook did not show up. What do you think Stephen A would say? The shoe would be on the other foot, most likely. Don't know him personally. Can't say that he would for sure say it. But I do believe in this hemisphere of sports media that he would say, oh, what a bad teammate. He's not even in it. The Lakers want him out. Clearly, he wants out. Couldn't even support his new coach. Couldn't even be there. Russell Westbrook made time to do it. But there is unequivocal doubt, no doubt in my mind, that that would have occurred on first take. Do you want to take, do you want to take back that statement? No. I feel you don't want to take it back. No. You said that he shouldn't have been at the press conference, which no. is foul. I said I did not lie. He should have been at the press conference. First of conference. all, it's not foul. Smith would, in my opinion, attempt to save face towards the segment's conclusion by claiming his criticism was somehow directed at the Lakers organization. However, the point could also be made that without this pushback, Stephen A would have skated on by. He just would have said this and had no pushback whatsoever or if it was somebody else who was not a former nba player he would have doubled tripled quadrupled i mean you saw him double down when he was already in the wrong and then in my opinion gave the final verdict of well i'm speaking from the lakers standpoint he backpedaled and backpedaled and backpedaled and backpedaled and then he gave this whimsical answer of a conclusion. The point could also be made that if this was his stance, probably should have made it way earlier in the segment, but he didn't. One person who thoroughly enjoyed it, the great Kevin Durant. Forward for the Brooklyn Nets. Ahmed Rose, Stephen A. Smith dropped Max Kellerman just for him to get dunked on by NBA players 
daily for ratings, which is true. Lakers guru added, J.J. Redick and C.J. McCollum jumped Stephen A. this morning for a dumb take about Russ being at the presser, and it was glorious. Most of the time, these morning sports debate shows are pablum at best, actively harmful at worst. Redick, though, offered an excellent potential justification for their ongoing proliferation. The chance to see guests stop by and destroy the main host. If First Take featured more people dropping by to point out with palpable frustration how problematic a lot of the arguments can be, that would truly be a show worth watching. You know, actual debate instead of empty theater designed to solicitly manufacture conflict and outrage from one camp or another for the sake of the all-powerful engagement metric. Lastly, Fadeaway World wrote, what we all knew was on the horizon. Don't look now, but there may be a war brewing in the NBA media world. As guys like Draymond, Redick, and McCollum take their place covering the game, guys like Stephen A. and others find themselves on the defensive as pro-player narratives flood the network. The bottom line is Mr. Smith is going to have to be at the top of his game if he wants to keep going against these players every morning. So far, he's been getting cooked.